हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू आर चैप्टर जेंडर रिलीजन एंड कास्ट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी ऑलरेडी डन द सोशल डिवीजन जेंडर सो इन आर सेकंड मॉड्यूल इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डू द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव टॉपिक ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट इज द रिलीजन एज वी डिस्कस दैट जेंडर इज अ यूनिवर्सल डिवीजन एंड इट इज फाउंड एवरीवेयर वाइल रिलीजन इज नॉट अ यूनिवर्सल डिवीजन though it is found in each and every part of the world unlike gender differences the religious differences are often expressed in the field of politics also now the major thing is that what is the relation of religion with politics about this topic the three views which are given in our book is first of mahatma gandhi what gandhi ji said about religion with politics Mahatma Gandhi ji said that there should be a relation between religion and politics because the politicians can learn a lot from religions there is a gita which tell us a lot about how to do administrations similarly the kotalya shastra and other things so politicians learn a lot of things from religions the moral things of religions and this is how religion can help them as so this is what the mahatma gandhi said the second view is of the human right commission now what human right commission is said that the maximum victims and the maximum victims of the rights are from the religion take special steps to protect religious minorities in the countries and have to make some laws for their protection for their safeguard and the third thing is of and the third view is of women commission now what women commission is saying about religion as we know that in india we respect women as a devi god on other hand we give a lot of we do a lot of violence against women so what women are saying that in all the religions of the world whether it is islam hinduism christianity or any other religions all religions are saying that women are for household work while the male are for the outside world means all religions are dominating women so what women commission is saying that government should make such a law which can protect and give safeguard to women and women can women can women also get equal status as of men in this the in this civilization so this is what we see about religion and the views of gandhi ji human rights commissions and the feminist movement feminist movement the women uh, movements of the world now let us come to the worst side of the religion which actually we try and the worst side of the religion is communism is communalism communalism is a thinking where a person is think that his or her religion is superior than others this particular thinking is called communalism it is a situation as i said that when a particular community tries to promote its own interest at the cost of communities the communism become very acute it become very acute when when the religion is seen as the basis of the nation that a particular nation is made on a particular religion pakistan means muslim nation hindustan means india means a hindu nation 
so this type of thinking is the communal thinking and when we think on when we thought like this the situation become very acute when one religion and its followers are discriminated by the other religions there are so many examples in front of us like in bangladesh in sri lanka the sinhalas or the buddhist start discriminating the tamils and this is how at present the sri lanka is in the situation of civil war the same thing we see in india also before partition the third thing is that when people start believe that one religion are that their own religion means are superior to those of the other religion that their religion is much better than other religions this create problem the next thing is that when the demand of one religious group are formed in opposition to another religions like uh, if you take an example in india when the hindu demands for ram mandir in ayodhya but there is already a uh, babri masjid so means if they try to make ram mandir means they have to destroy the babri masjid which is totally against the another religion so this also creates a problem and the situation become acute when the state power means the government is used to establish domination of one religion over the another religion as like we see in sri lanka after the act of 1856 Buddhism is de Buddhism declared as the national religion, and they start dominating the Hindu Tamils and the Muslim Tamils of Sri Lanka, and this is how the situation become too acute. Let's come to the communal politics. Religion is used in politics in a very exclusive and partition terms. This manner is. this manner of using religion in politics is called communal politics means when politics take interfere in the religious matter communal politics is based on the idea that a religion is the principal basis of a particular social community now the thing which comes here is that communalism involves thinking along the following lines means the people those who are believe in communal politics what they think is or are that the follower of one religion must belong to one community what they think is that the follower of one religion like the india the indian community the whole indian community must be a hindu or must be a muslim the whole pakistan community must be a hindu must be a muslim or must be a christian whatever means the whole community must belong to one religion that what they are thinking now what they think is that their fundamental interest should be same and any difference that may have that they have is totally irrelevant for the community life means the religion come first and then other things comes the nation comes whether the nation their own family their children 
and any other matter all these things comes after later the first thing which come is religion so for them religion they give religion they give preference to the religion and the interest of a religion now what they think is that the or what they believe is that the people belonging to the different religions cannot live as equal citizen with one nations they cannot live in one community or one nation either one of them has to dominate the rest or they have to form a different nation that is what they are thinking so that is what we are saying that, that the communism is the worst side of the religion and if we see then the communism is the thing which we all have in our daily to daily life at like communism can take a various forms in our politics the expression is in our daily beliefs everyday beliefs like whenever we start our day or whatever we do some of us take name of god bhagwan allah or whatever even when we start any exams we wrote om it 786 allah cross etc means but we think that if we write this particular symbol of a religion then our exam go goes best means we think that that particular religion is best than other religion so somewhere communism is there in each and every person but the main thing is that when it become worst when politics interfere in it then it become worst and its most ugly root ugly form we see in the form of violence riots riots and massacre and the most ugly form is in the form of partition as what we see the partition of india and pakistan was based on religion that is hinduism and islam as we know that india is a secular nation now what is a secularism india believes in all religion and respect all religion in secularism three things comes first state has no religion means state does not believe in any religion there is no religion of the country of the government second thing but state respect others religions if there is group of then there is a government holiday if there is diwali then there is a government holiday if there is christmas then also there is a government holiday people can follow their religion because the government respect others religions but government itself does not follow any religion and the third thing is that citizen or people are free to practice their religions whatever people want to do they can do they can do namaz they can do pray they can read shlokas they can read ayats they can worship christ or whatever they can do they can do they can celebrate eid they can celebrate deepavali whatever they want they can do so totally people are totally free to practice their religion and this particular thing is called secularism so this is how in the second part we done the religion which is the most sensitive matter though i try myself to respect each and everything but even then if i hurt any religion then sorry from my side thank you to all of you if you want 
to give me any comment then you can give me comment or you can visit to my blog which is bipindogra.blogspot.com